the sound test room. All right, all right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Sound Test Room US, where we are going to be taking a look at Musicio today. Or Music I.O., as I'm guessing how the developers pronounce it, but um, it's so much more fun when you say Musicio. And, and I say developers because this is brought to us by a dream team. This is Secret Base Design. Um, Dan from Confusion Studios, who make MIDI Designer Pro, and then um, Nick from Audionic, uh, who make the MIDI Bridge, which you can find out right here in the little uh, three team section on the website. Go to musicioapp.com, and this is where we can download the server for, for Mac here. The first time that you launch the application, it's going to say that you can't do it. You need to go um, to Finder and find the, the app once you've downloaded it in here, and then open it up from there. Um, for whatever reason, Apple doesn't allow you to... This is not an authorized app yet, I guess. It's, it's on its way. Blah, blah, blah. In any case, if you're having problems, open it up from Finder, and that's how you're going to be able to do it. Uh, once you've got it on your Mac, get it on your iPad here. Also works for iPhone as well. Very cool stuff here. And, um, yeah, what this allows us to do is just send audio and MIDI over USB. The The audio is not there yet. Uh, should be coming in just a couple of weeks here. But just even even the MIDI is, itself is incredible. So once we've, uh, we've you know, opened it up the first time, we can, we can start opening it up from the finder there or uh, launch pad rather and then this is where we can see that we are connected to both of them and then we have a little send to area over here and this is where we can pick where our, our destinations are going to be so we want to pick uh, music io virtual and then inside of ableton here which is what we're going to be using today we can go into our preferences and this is where we can pick the ins and outs here uh, you know making sure that we select music io um, and then we can pick musicio over here as well so in any case, let's take a look at, uh, at MIDI Designer Pro real quick. And we can see that we've got the, the old analog base going on. And I mapped these already. And we can see that I'm uh, changing our filter frequency here. So it's a little quiet right now. Uh, let's turn the volume up. So very cool stuff. So this is, uh, this is controlling our analog base right now. Very, very cool stuff there. Simple as can be in our, our ins and outs right here. Looks like we got a little stuck note here. Um, or is that just, that's probably just the long release time. Okay, in any case, um, our, our ins and outs here. This is where we can just pick, uh, you know, MIDI from. We want the MIDI coming from Music I.O. And then in our um, audio too, this is where, you know, you can send it to, to other tracks here, blah, blah, blah. But most importantly, you want to concern yourself with the MIDI from Music I.O. when you're trying to receive on your on your computer. And here on the uh, right-hand track where it's it's listed as bass, this is where we can send from uh, the, from Ableton here to the iPad. So we've seen how we can send from the iPad to the computer. Let's do the reverse. And um, we're going to be using iMini, and I have just mapped the cutoff frequency and. Um, Let's see here. Okay, there we go. You know what? I got Funkbox going on too. Funkbox is a little weird. It like it likes to be open the first time that you play uh, MIDI or you know uh, uh, trigger it via MIDI. So just very very simple stuff there. When I go to uh, this clip here, we can see my the envelopes here, and I've mapped uh, to number sixteen our cutoff frequency here. This one's our pitch bend. You can see the uh, little ramp up, ramp down there. Follow it over here. Very, very cool stuff. This, um, you know, it could not be any easier. You know, I've spent so much time goofing off with uh, uh, MIDI over Wi-Fi. And, um, yeah, you know, this is just so much easier. <laughs> Screw Wi-Fi. Just hook it up directly. You know, this is this is so awesome. 
So as I said, it doesn't have audio yet, but that is on its way. And that is for real going to be the game changer. Once you can send, you know, your files, no more, no more screwing around with iFunbox and stuff like that. If you don't want to, you can just play it right from your iPad, play it directly into your computer here. So, uh, the, the three developers behind this, you know, I salute you, you guys, this is, this is so awesome. Um, Right now it's on sale, I know, for an introductory price of like $2.99 or, or something like that. I'm not sure how long that's going to last. Uh, as far as I know, I've heard rumors that the audio portion of this is coming just within a couple of weeks here. So we are going to be waiting around a long time for that. Um, yeah. So in any case, Musicio, Music I.O. Check it out. Uh, check us out on the soundtestroom.com. We've just got a brand new website and we are featuring the, the always fun, always informative Jacob Hack. Uh, he has joined our team and uh, could not be happier to have him on board. So come check us out. We got a little, uh, you know, app prizes coming all the time, app giveaways, things like that. Um, we got some big plans for the future as well. So check us out at the soundtestroom.com. Support us on Patreon if you can. And we will see you guys next time. All right, take care.